Pero, I'm a senior. I have two brothers and my parents. I'm the only girl and I'm the middle child. I came to Johnston my freshman year and I decided to come here because it was close to my house and I mean, I didn't really think it was a bad school. Johnston High School has been open since the 1960s. It's the community school, it's in the east side, and as we all know, there's not really any like high schools around here, or around this part of town. And everyone pretty much sends their kids here who lives around here, and we all know that it's a low-income school. We didn't even like expect it, and we just saw it all over the news and on the internet. I knew it was a problem, but I mean, I was concerned because I didn't want the, you know, like the people were talking about closing the school. But like, I was like, we still had the little faith in us that maybe, you know, something would happen and we, like, everyone would all of a sudden would like do really good, you know, but. What culminated in, in the closure of the school is not something that is either measurable by the current student population or something that can be attributed to or, or could be easily changed by one or two or three years worth of working at it. It's, it's a culture, it's uh, an effect that stretches back maybe more than 10 or 20 years. The school doesn't die instantly. It, it, it was a process that occurred over time and it's a tragic process. Our junior year, the whole year we had meetings. I would always come to them. We had meetings talking about what could happen, what we can do, or what's a new project that they don't want to close down the school but open another school. I mean, it was, it was a lot of mixed feelings. It was a very intense period of time. There's a core community of the school's been around. Johnston High School has been around a long time. Trying to figure out solutions to the problems. I mean, all of that really stemmed from the pride of, 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 of the community, of of uh, alumni, of faculty, students, really, you could, you know, that was really the, a lot of the strong discussion was uh, based on, you know, they don't want the school to close. This is a six weeks project. We've been working on it now for like two days, so today's going to be the third day, which means that your scripts and your plays are going to be wonderful, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. you can, like, you're asking us time. Yeah, you're asking us time. So you think I should have now, right? given time during No, we weren't. No, no, we're so no, no, Miss, we did that thing that we event. Did it. Okay, well then we have to start right now so that you have the rest of the class to yeah. work. Freddie. Freddie. Freddie Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. Alright. That sounds cool. What really affected me was like, if we have to go to another high school, how they're going to treat us, you know? Because we're like the Johnston students. Well, everyone would see us as like the bad kids or something, you know? I don't, I don't see myself being a bad person, but I guess others do. There were some students that I guess maybe felt that, you know, that there was some type of, that, that there was something wrong, that there was something endemically wrong with them. And that's, that's tragedy because it's not, it's not the students. It's not them at all. It's, 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 a, it's a bigger, more complex problem than that. At times I, I think to myself, I, I did, I, I did fail, but I spend like nine hours a day, and sometimes ten hours in this uh, at here, and um, I do a lot of extra tutoring. And I know deep inside I did not fail. However, the paper says I did. Hey, John. They were doing a lot. They were really doing a lot, and I didn't understand how at the end like it closed because we put all these eff all this effort into it, and then like. We felt like we had been betrayed and like not taken account of. We're looking forward to really having just an outstanding year at Eastside Memorial High School at the Johnston campus. <laughs> Thank you.
Today is the beginning of a new day. It's easy to think about closing school, but you don't realize what it does to a community, to the students and the family. And I, I'm pleased that the commissioner bonded with my school board to say, we will do it differently. We will do it better, but we will let you keep a neighborhood school. We will not close this school. I remember it was like, it was in August, like the first week or something. We came to the inauguration of the new school and like they just put this banner over where it used to say, you know, Johnston High School. It was kind of depressing to see the name change and everything, but well, we couldn't do anything about it anymore. Now we have to call it Eastside Memorial, that's too long. Sounds like a cemetery. Yeah. Eastside Memorial High School at the, the Johnson, Johnson campus. campus. I cried when they said they were going to close it down. Yeah. I cried. Yeah. We heard her yeah. and we were sad because we didn't know if we were going to come back and if we were going to be together yeah. studying. They're going to take those phones away. So we were sad. It was the last day of school and we were at the lake. The community has rallied behind the school. I think it was instrumental in some ways. I think it was highly instrumental because of the uh, influence that the community had for them to actually go ahead and repurpose the school and, and reopen it in the first place as Eastside Memorial. Because there was no obligation on the part of the state to accept the district's repurposing plan. They could have just closed the school and that would have been it. I wanted to graduate from here. I wanted to see my friends graduate. I wanted to, the people you've been with so long and just who all of a sudden just like separate. Like we know we have to separate, but I want to separate with my high school diploma. You know, have a reason. You guys were accepted to the university, um, which, you know, whether you, you realize it or not, it was was quite a feat this year. We had about 31,000 students apply for admissions this year, and we only accepted about 11,000 of them for admissions. After Johnson, I'm going to attend the University of Texas here in Austin, and I'm going to really take advantage of like our education. I always did, but like now seeing that our clo school closed down and like thinking about how like everything could have gone, like our memories and our school and like not graduating from here could have like, you know, vanished. And like, it's just now you really think that anything can happen.